So this is a chapter plan for chapter four of the ICMD one book. And as with all of these chapter plans, everything in the chapter is fair game on the test, of course. All this video is doing is giving you some advice and counsel on how to use the chapter to best learn it as you go through the different phases of your study. Now on your first pass through this chapter, you want to focus a bit on cables. WAN topics are topics that most people don't work with every day. So if you can go in the wiring closet and see some external CSU DSUs or look at your serial cables, that'd be great. Uh, if you can't see any cables, if you don't have any you're going to use for your home lab, go on eBay and search for a couple of things. Search for V.35 space CSU or Cisco Serial V.35. And I'll list those in my blog post at ccentskills.searchskills.com uh, for the post where I mentioned the study plan and give you some links to search for those. Then you can see some cables, so I'd focus on that. The next thing is frame relay. If you're going through the two exam path to CCNA, you want to make sure you understand the small amount of information on frame relay in this chapter the first time through. If you're taking the one exam path, that means you're going to have to learn all the topics for both ICND-1 and ICND-2 before you take the single CCNA exam. You're going to get a couple of chapters on frame relay. So you can almost ignore the frame relay topics in this chapter for now. So that will greatly impact how you focus on those couple of pages. Then in your second pass through the chapter, your review after you've read the chapter one time, review the terms in particular, and make sure you've got a solid understanding of clocking. Once you've read it and then review it here at your second pass, um, make sure you've got clocking down. Then when you're at the end of this part of the book, the first uh, five or six chapters, and you're reviewing, you'll already know a lot more about IP routing as it turns out. So you want to have this perspective where, say, if I've got a router on the left and a router on the right, and I represent that point-to-point -point serial link with this lightning bolt kind of line, it's important that you understand both the layer 3 perspective of simply forwarding packets over that link between two routers in comparison to the layer 2 perspective where that frame has either a PPP or HDLC header and the IP packet sits inside of that. So that's an important concept to keep in mind when you review the entire part. Then it's your final preparation. Note that most of what's in this chapter is duplicated later in the book anyway. But for things to review, if you're going through the two exam path, make sure you understand the frame relay uh, short section in this chapter. Make sure you understand clocking. You don't see a lot more about that later. And if you're still a little fuzzy on the cables, I'd say find a few pictures online for cables and take a look at those.